Adam Smith's second book is an inquiry into the nature and causes of the wealth of nations, published in 1776. In it, Smith argues against what he saw as a false theory of wealth and a false theory of how wealth was created. Mercantilist thinkers thought that the wealth of a nation was measured by the amount of gold it possessed and that the way to secure greater wealth was through colonialism and protectionism. Smith explains that wealth does not consist in gold, but rather in the living standards of the whole population. This means that colonialism and protectionism, which benefit wealthy merchants, actively harm the wealth of the rest of the nation. If we want to understand where rising living standards come from, we need to understand what it was that brought about increased productivity that made more goods available to more people. Smith does this through five big ideas. The division of labour. Trade. The system of natural liberty. Capital accumulation. The invisible hand. The wealth of nations made Smith famous and wealthy. He spent his retirement serving as a Commissioner of Customs in Edinburgh. Smith died in 1790 and is buried in the Canongate Kirkyard near his home in Edinburgh. Adam Smith's ideas changed the way we think about the world and they are as relevant today as they were 300 years ago. <laughs> <laughs>